It's Jen Uary, and it continues with information on how to keep your baby or your creepy doll alive. <laughs> <clears throat> Bringing home a baby can be both exciting and terrifying. This is mostly terrifying. And uh, even more so during the cold and flu season. So here with all the info on babies and germs and how to keep your baby safe is the one and only Dr. Greg Ypolitor. Dr. Ypolitor, good to see you. Great Welcome to see back. you. So great to see you. So, so sweet babies. Yeah. Germs sweet are bad babies. for babies? Not all germs are bad. Which germs are bad for babies, Dr. Ypolitor? Flu germs, staph germs, mm. whooping cough germs. Those are the oh, bad the germs. Cough. Oh, the commercial with the grandma that turns into the wolf. That's the one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. exactly. So yeah. we're going to walk through some scenarios here. Correct. And then you'll tell us what's good and bad, right? Okay. Exactly. Here we're we gonna go. Gonna we're right. going to play a married couple with okay. our babies. Okay, here we go. Let's and go for it. It's so nice having the babies home. Well... I scrubbed and bleached and sanitized everything in the house so you don't have to worry about a thing, honey. You're the best. Did I mention that my family's coming over? The little kiddos are so excited to meet the babies. Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about that. Okay, let's analyze that. Okay. Don't clean too much. Oh. All right? There's a theory. The too clean theory is that when you sanitize everything, there are no germs there. The babies can't accumulate what's called the microbiome, which are the beneficial germs. Microbiome. Correct. Beneficial germs. Beneficial germs. Okay. That's number one. Number two, we do want people to come over. We do want babies to get exposed to those other germs, but not to the bad germs. We don't always want people to come over, though. So yeah. the bad germs. Yeah. All right, those the bad germs, the flu. So caregivers, people coming over, theoretically, immunize against whooping cough, immunize against the flu during the winter season. Got it. Point number three, and it was very good, don't allow sick people over. Yes. Don't allow sick people, people over. Got it. And okay. people that are healthy and come over. You want to hold the baby? Wash the hands, sanitize your hands. You can hold the baby. Okay. All right, next scene. Next scene, and ready? And here we go. <clears throat> I just love this baby so much. I just want to hug her and squeeze her and kiss her. I know, but put your tongue back. You don't want to get sick. Oh, but I, I just want to, I just, did you have time to put this stroller together? Uh, you know, I can't, I'm Kel, having a hard time reading off was, the teleprompter and I was, <laughs> I was thinking we should wait until the weather is a little bit warmer outside. You know, it's so cold. There's so many germs out there. I don't want them to get sick. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Spring is only a few months away. Freeze! <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's look at the facts. Do snuggle your baby. Do kiss your baby. Shoe skin to skin. You know, massage your baby. These are wonderful things. They bond with the baby. But she licked her baby. Do you, you know, that's... Don't lick the baby's right. mouth. Don't lick the baby's open eyes or mouth. But you can lick one. the side of the face. You can do that. You right. can lick. See? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's okay. All okay, right. honey. You're All right. right again. All right. And then, let's take a look. What are the other facts? The baby should go outside. Don't coop the baby up, okay? I'd rather the baby be outside in the nice weather rather than in a room full of sick people. Can okay. you believe how advanced my baby is talking already? <laughs> Amazing. Just incredible. All right, one more Emmy winning. Okay. But do okay. avoid, do avoid crowds if you take the baby outside. All right. Okay. Let's do one Ready? more scene. Next scene. I like having visitors, but I feel like we need to keep washing the baby after every guest leaves. Oh, you can never be too clean, honey. I, I can rinse off the pacifier and give it back to her. Or do we have to sanitize it? It only fell on the floor for a few seconds. Freeze! Right. Number one, don't wash the baby too frequently. You're going to wash away those beneficial germs. The microbiome was so important to form and fortify the immune system. So, wash your hands, however. But the baby, every other day, every third day, would be adequate. That's number one, all right? Number two, all right, do sterilize things that fall on the floor, particularly in the first three months of life. First right? three so months of there life. There you go. That's the best we can do. Welcome back to you, Paul. Good to see you. Listen